Hello, everybody. This is Miss Sloan. I'm here with Penny and Minnie as well. Um, in a previous video, I told you a little bit about Minnie, and today I'm going to tell you a little bit about Penny. I adopted Penny when she was about three months old from the Helen Woodward Animal Center. She's a rescue dog, so we don't know what type of dog she is, um, but we think she's part Jack Russell Terrier, except that she has really long legs. Um, so maybe she's part Ital Italian Greyhound, um, which is a very small type of Greyhound that has long legs. But Penny's very, very sweet, very cuddly, and um, mostly pretty well behaved. Um, except sometimes if she gets out the front door, she likes to run around the neighborhood a little bit before I can get her back in the house. But otherwise, she's very, very sweet. All right, so today I have a wonderful story for you. Um, it's called No More Water in the Tub. So this is a good story. You're going to like this. And some has great pictures to go along with it, too. All right. In a bathroom near the top floor of a tall apartment building, William was ready for his bath. Walter had finished and fresh water was running into the tub. Get in, William, said Mom. Walter, keep an eye on your brother. Leave the faucet on another minute, then no more water in the tub. Aw, Mom, William said as he climbed in. I like it deep. You heard me, one minute. She closed the bathroom door as she left. Uh-oh. Walter reached for the tub faucet. Not yet, William yelled. I'm turning it on faster, William answered, so you'll get more water in one minute. Let's see how fast it'll go. He twisted the cold water handle and water gushed into the tub. What if I turned it all the way until it came off? Water blasted out the fixture. In an instant, the bathroom flooded. The tub broke loose and floated away from the wall. When mom looked in to see what all the racket was, water burst through the door, taking the tub with it. Oh my goodness. Look at that. They're sailing away in their tub. Down the hall, William sailed, leaving mom and Walter behind. Picking up speed, he passed the kitchen and the living room, heading for the front door. It opened. I'm home, said dad. <gasps> then out the door and down the steps went William in his bathtub. It's like dad brought some groceries home. He was not expecting to see a flood. <clears throat> In the apartment below, Miss Mabel Hattie was serving tea to her bridge club members. When she heard a bump at the door, that must be Betty at last, she said. As Mabel opened the door, she complained, why are you always so late? But it was William who answered. I didn't know you were expecting me. Uh-oh, there he is in his bathtub, floating into the neighbor's apartment. Oh my goodness, look at this. A, as a wave of water tipped Mabel backward, William rode his bathtub into the room. He circled the card table and followed the rushing waters back the way he came. Then out the door and down the steps went William in his bathtub. Out went Mabel on the table. Oh no! William's in his bathtub and Mabel is on her table, floating away. They're floating away. Uh-oh. One floor down, Sue and Vern Maddie were watering their houseplants when they heard a knock. Expecting pizza to be delivered, Sue quickly answered the door. 
You're not our regular pizza boy, she sputtered as William surfed into the room, followed by Mabel. Waves rolled through the apartment, crashed against the back wall and turned. Then out the door and down the steps went William in his bathtub. Out went Mabel on the table. Sue and Vern clung to a fern. Oh, here's the fern right there. See that plant? That's a fern. Maybe you have a fern in your house. Downstairs, Uncle Nash stepped into the hall to take out the garbage. He felt a drop of water and looked up. There was William in a bathtub plunging down a waterfall where a staircase used to be. I see your folks are having plumbing problems, Uncle Nash said as the churning water swept him off his feet. Past the door and down the steps went William in his bathtub. Down went Mabel on the table. Sue and Vern clung to a fern. Uncle Nash sat in the trash. Oh no, Uncle Nash. He's in the trash. All these people from the apartment building floating away. Oh no. Patty Fuzzle was just about to put her last jigsaw piece into place. She heard a knock and thought her sister Natty was home from babysitting. But when she opened the door, it was William and the upstairs neighbors who spilled into the room. I have a sinking feeling I'll never finish my puzzle, she cried as the surging tide swirled around her. Then out the door and down the steps went William in his bathtub. Out went Mabel on the table. Sue and Vern clung to a fern. Uncle Nash sat in the trash. Patty Fuzzle steered her puzzle. Look at that. While Mr. and Mrs. Hanratty were out, Natty Fuzzle was babysitting little Dottie. There, they were in the bathroom, reading a story when they heard a key in the front door. That must be your mom and dad, said Natty. Then she heard water roaring down the hall toward the bathroom. William's tub pushed uh, the Hanratties inside. We're home, they managed to say. Then out the door and down the steps went William in his bathtub. Out went Mabel on the table. Sue and Vern clung to a fern. Uncle Nash sat in the trash. Patty Fuzzle steered her puzzle. Little Dottie sailed the potty. Wow, it's the whole neighborhood now is floating away. There's, there's little Dottie floating on her potty. Uh-oh. Downstairs, the Ferlingatis string quartet had been practicing all evening. Mind if I fix a snack? Called Mr. Bellow from the kitchen. Make yourself at home, answered Mrs. Ferlingati. Suddenly the stove caught fire. Flames spread quickly. Call the fire department, cried Mr. Bellow. The building is burning. A fire alarm began to ring and everyone leaped to their feet. Mr. Bellow reached the door first and threw it open, yelling, run for your life. Oh no, there's a big fire from the stove. <gasps> but I just got here, said William. He and the neighbors stormed in on a tidal wave that flooded the burning apartment. Flames hissed, smoke and steam filled the air. Just as quickly as the fire had started, it was gone and the water began draining away. Then out the door and down the steps went William in his bathtub. Out went Mabel on the table. Sue and Vern clung to a fern. Uncle Nash sat in the trash. Patty Fuzzle steered her puzzle. Little Dottie sailed the potty. Mr. Bellow rode his cello. Here's Mr. Bellow writing on his cello.
Fire trucks and crowds of people arrived as William uh, clattered down the front steps of the building. The tub ran aground in the street and William's neighbors washed up behind it. Good work putting out the fire, son, said the fire chief. You are a hero. He hung a heavy medal around William's neck and everyone cheered. So I thought that was going to have a bad ending with that big flood, but actually they put the fire out. Then they all went home, Walter said. The end. That was a great story, Walter. Tell me another one, begged William. Okay, said William. So he was just telling his brother a story that didn't actually happen. He's using his imagination. That whole part about the water flooding was his imagination. William forgot all about turning the water off in one minute. The bathtub overflowed and quickly flooded the floor. Mom threw open the door and screamed, no more water. But she was too late. The tub broke, the tub broke loose and floated away from the wall. Then out the window and down the fire escape went William in his bathtub. So what he imagined actually came true. Look at that. He is floating away in his bathtub. And that's the end of the story. So I hope you like this story that we had today. It is called No More Water in the Tub. And what a fun story that was. I hope that you enjoyed listening to this story and I'm gonna record more stories. And so I will see you next time when we have our next story. Bye-bye.